Hi, I'm Jessica Altfelish, and I am the director and a violin and viola teaching artist with the Harmony School of Music. Back in 2016, we were looking around and realizing that there were a lot of children around who had great potential and a desire to do something artistic, but not necessarily the access. So we did some research and we found a program called El Sistema. There's a lot of research out there that indicates music and the study of music can be very beneficial to the social and cognitive development of children. The principles of what we, we teach as an El Sistema program are social empowerment, access, inclusivity, and to surmount barriers that students face in participating in a music ensemble. I'm Sophia Joseph and I'm Izzy's mom and she comes to the Harmony School here. I think it's really important for children to get musical education when they're young. It seems to be one of those things that has to be taught at a young age. I really like Harmony School and all the friends here playing the instruments and I like community circle and what we talk about. I'm Judith Cobb and my grandson Brayden is a student here at the Harmony Music School and every day he tells me how much he loves coming here. This, the people, the kids are all so friendly. The holistic uh, curriculum that they've embraced, I really appreciate that they spend time working on you know, social and emotional growth as well. Usually when we first come inside, we sit down at our tables, we talk about a certain subject. Right now we're talking about different emotions. I definitely noticed an increase in her confidence and um, her ability to talk and leadership. I just feel like she's gotten a sense of community here and that might be the number one thing. Hi, my name is Ann Harris Carter and I am a community volunteer and I am a donor of Harmony School of Music. What resonates with me about the Harmony School of Music mission is that it's teaching young children about the, the joy of music. Hi, I'm Courtney Ball. My wife Emmy and I are financial contributors to Harmony School of Music, and we also have a daughter who was a student here. And it's such a positive thing for people to have in their lives, a skill for them to be able to learn, that we want to make sure no kid is kept from that. Brayden's missed most of first grade and all of second grade because of COVID-19 and having this opportunity to reconnect with other kids um, in such a, a shared passion in the musical environment has just done him a world of good. Um, you know, socially and emotionally, I've noticed him much more mature, you know, now, you know, this year than even a year ago. It has far exceeded my expectations. I, of course, expected her to come and learn music, but I didn't expect um, all of the other benefits. It's an exciting time for this organization. They are kind of refining their program and starting to grow. And I think as we come out of COVID, they're going to be able to offer a lot to students in this area. Organizations, particularly nonprofits, are most successful when there's a strong sense of collaboration. So I'm excited again for more from our community to um, just catch the vision and think about ways uh, to, to bring even the community together for the benefit of our, of our children. Our philosophy here is that it takes all of us. It takes every student, it takes every donor, it takes every volunteer and teacher. We want to knock down every barrier we can for a student to get a high quality music education. 